When we are in a safe space for narcissistic abuse recovery, we often find a few people who try to poke around at certain terms or phrases that we use to talk about our traumatic experiences. I want to talk about how important it is to know that these people are out here for conflict. They want to see you frustrated and they want to see you fight back so they can get their own form of supply. They know a lot of survivors are in vulnerable, easily triggered places and they do take advantage of it. So let's talk about trauma, abuse, and using the terms narcissist, sociopath, and psychopath. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from Trauma Recovery Coaching. I am a certified coach specializing in abuse recovery from narcissistic, sociopathic, and psychopathic abuse. The terms trauma and abuse. Sometimes we encounter a person who preaches everyone has trauma to invalidate your experiences. These individuals often get enraged because they believe we are using trauma and abuse interchangeably. We actually can do that when our trauma is a result of abuse. You can absolutely say, I was abused or I have trauma. Both are valid and both are true. You don't owe anyone an explanation of what those details are. It's not required for you to explain your trauma. It happened and you have every right to choose who you tell. Of course, trauma will happen to everyone in life in some form, but it is much different than the trauma that we face from abuse. When we are dedicated to recovery from narcissistic abuse and domestic violence, there is no need to criticize individuals who discuss their trauma that has been caused by abuse. Sometimes this is a response these people have when they are in denial of their own trauma. They do not want to accept any pain that came from their upbringing, so they decide to leak out that pain onto others instead of allowing themselves to accept their traumatic experiences for what they are. The invalidation that we feel forces us to curl up into our shells and suffer alone in our situations. We have fought hard just to share the experiences we have gone through. We end up self-gaslighting and forcing ourselves to say, Maybe what I went through wasn't so bad. Maybe it is my fault. Or even, I deserved it. You didn't deserve any form of abuse. If someone is saying that you can't say that you have trauma because you were abused, or that the abuse you went through caused trauma, they're not a safe person to be communicating with. If this is experienced in person, it's very hard to handle. We may have a trauma response and feel the need to defend ourselves or begin to disassociate. But I want you to remember that people who are unaware of their own trauma or haven't been through familial abuse or domestic violence will never understand if they are closed-minded. We have to remember that not everyone will think like us, not everyone will hold space, and not everyone will have empathy and compassion for others. The terms narcissist, sociopath, and psychopath. You will often hear how many people fight for the terms narcissist, psychopath, and sociopath because they deem them as overused terms that are insignificant. These types of people most likely haven't been through what you once have, or they are the narcissist, sociopath, or psychopath. Unfortunately, our society was conditioned for years to accept toxic behavior as its norm. Toxicity behind closed doors was okay. That was classified as a personal issue or as a domestic dispute. Abusers easily manipulate law enforcement and make their victims look like they're crazy. One of the biggest issues with people who pick at others who use these terms is you aren't qualified to give a diagnosis. It's not a diagnosis. You're not clinically diagnosing anyone. You are looking at what relates to my experiences that can help me understand how to protect myself. How do these types of people work? How can I get away? Can these people change? No, they can't change. They trick, manipulate, and most of the time they get worse. The clinical diagnosis for narcissist is narcissistic personality disorder, and the clinical diagnosis for sociopath and psychopath is antisocial personality disorder. Narcissists, sociopaths, and psychopaths are descriptive terms to help you understand your experiences and the toxic actions of others, like how we use the terms scapegoat, golden child, and lost child to learn what role we were forced to play growing up. We can't know how to heal, how to move forward or grow if we can't have some of our questions answered. We grew up with no answers. We grew up in chaos. We have every right to have some liberation and understanding of what was done to us. Know that you can use the terms that you are comfortable with. Thank you for listening. Stay safe.